Yo, yo. What it do, what it do. This is a uh, Twitch 13 documentary of um, Stingray. The making of this, uh, some clips of me uh, making the album. Um, now, this was made at uh, December 2021 through February uh, 2022. So all 21 tracks was made through that time period. Um, I was just bouncing out tracks left and right. Uh, I just kept them in the vault. And now this album um, was inspired by True Vince, True Stingray Attack, um, which happened in 2014, I do believe. In 2014, I did get stung by Stingray. And um, this was the Ode Studio. At the old place, we are now in a new location. So these are old clips I put together. As you can see, uh, there's this is right above the AC. This is what you're seeing to the left. Uh, I don't, really don't know what I'm doing right now. There was a TV, the old stereo hooked up, a little a shit ton of speakers. Um, and that was the computer desk, <coughs> and. Uh, this was the area I made most of the songs in. Um, uh, there might be a clip of uh, where the the mic was actually at. Uh, um, now they weren't all put chronologically in order. They were all made at uh, different events, different times. Some were made in December, towards the end of December, I should say, the like half halfway through. I started making Stingray. Um, what inspired me is to, uh, really, um, make an army against that stingray that stung me. It stung me on the, the right foot, um, it was the, the right toe, the, the big toe. Uh, there was a lot of blood, you know. I was just swimming in the ocean, uh, with my cousins, and I was out pretty deep, and I decided to, you know, put my foot down, and, uh, I got stung. I guess I stepped on the stingray, so, fuck this stingray. And this is me taking a dab. There was a lot of THC involved. And a lot of other drugs involved in making this album. Um, I was heavily medicated. Uh, as you see, that's a hoed bone. I was taking dabs. A whole lot of dabs. And I'm not really sure what I was doing there. There's another scene of me taking dabs. That's usually where, how I put my hair up while making this album. And here I'm making songs or cleaning up audio, editing. And the studio did look pretty dope. As you can see, there's a lot of light strips up. There's one, two, three, four. Not really for sure what I'm explaining there. Probably explained something to the camera. I was probably doing a live stream there. Um, I look pretty fucked up there. Um... <laughs> Pretty crazy dude. Uh, there was a blue. It was mainly a blue uh, room. I did have red for a sanctuary. Uh, there was a lot of. Um, the lighting really affected the mood of the song, you could say. <laughs> and um, there's me taking another dab. Again. Yep. That's the back side of the room. You can see a speaker on the back side wall there. Me dying from a dab. Uh, this clip was from a live stream that's faded in right now. Um, you can see me writing down lyrics to the song. Not really for sure what song. Uh, or I'm writing down a track list for it, actually. Picking out the track list. Because this was just a pile of songs I had. And I organized it and made uh, made it into a track list for Stingray. The other songs are going to be coming out later. Probably later this month or July. I might have a July release. That album is going to be called Embargo. But we'll talk about that for another video. Um, I usually had a beanie on while making songs. Uh, where I had my hair like that. Let's get it out of my way so I can see. 
Uh, I usually do that when I'm alone. So you can see there was a sanctuary going on, but for the camera's sake, I turned it back to blue. There might be some audio in some of these clips coming up. There I am writing some more songs. There's a lot of, uh, there we go. Just listening to the beat over and over and over and over and over. So I get the melody. Pretty much. Right there, I'm, uh, looks like I'm taking a dab. It was mostly, you can see the color blue because that was the theme of the album. Wanted a, a blue, fresh colored album, you know what I'm saying? Summer vibe. And um, if you guys want, you can stream the album with the links down below. I'm just taking dabs left and right. This is usually my... <coughs> this is day four, baby. And oh boy, I have to take a shit. Alright. No, it's day five. This day was day five. Four. <laughs> okay. So you can see there's day five. I think I was on the process of moving. And this was day five of the 30 days I was going to leave. And uh, there I'm writing more lyrics and shit. Probably not any audio there. Uh, and here I'm probably taking yet another dab. This is my process. I usually take dabs, hit the bowl, whatever, before I press record on the mic. It helps capture the vibe. You know, puts the mind at ease. Yo, 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 yo. Um, not really for sure. Yep. Taking a dab. Taking a big dab, too. That was a huge dab. Uh, I most likely killed myself right there. That was a huge dab. Um, the weed flag was up there. It really helped. Um, helped the mic concentrate. Why not? So all 21 songs were uh, really well thought out, and it was probably my well executed rhymes, rhythm, flow. I uh, was many takes, like probably 20 takes, like each song. I kept going and going until I thought it was perfect. Um, so yeah, this was probably like the end of the documentary. So, so I hope you guys enjoy this little put together and. Um, make sure to stream the album, give this video a like, whatnot, subscribe, and uh, you can see the mic there, that's what this mic said, so this was a uh, Stingray, the making of, you know, um, make sure to um, stream it, alright, and uh, you, you guys, uh, you guys stay hydrated out there, it's, uh, it's getting kind of scarce with the water, you know what I'm saying, like right now. It's pretty scarce.